Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and the first public beta of iOS 18 has finally been released. So in today's video, we're talking about this update, what's new, what expect from it, and of course, everything else you need to know regarding the first public beta of the new iOS 18. Now, first of all, we're talking about new features. iOS 18 public beta will of course always follow up the release of a dev beta. So in this first public beta of iOS 18, you can expect to have all the exact same features that you get with the third beta, the third dev beta of iOS 18. There's no difference when it comes to features when you compare two different betas, the public beta and of course the last dev beta. Now, of course, this beta has come out a week after the release of iOS 18 beta three, but the next ones you can expect them to come a day after the release of the next betas. In this case, when beta four comes out a day after, you can also expect the next public beta of iOS 18. So you probably are familiar right now with the features of iOS 18, the new customization features, of course, the new control center, all the new AI features, which will come later on. So every new feature that you have seen that Apple has released on iOS 18, until now, all those new features will also be part of the new iOS 18 public beta. So there will be no difference in features when it comes to the two different betas. And now let's focus on the things that you need to know if you're actually trying to update to iOS 18 public beta. First of all, make sure that you have a backup of your device. Whether you're trying to update to a public beta or to a dev beta, always make sure that you first of all back up your device just in case something goes wrong most probably nothing will go wrong but make sure that you're safe and you have a backup of all of your data you either do it through your computer or you do it through an iCloud backup by simply going to a profile at your settings then go to iCloud turn on backup once the iPhone is backed up then you can go ahead and process with the installation of the new public beta of iOS 18. Now, of course, if you want to install this new beta on your iPhone, you need to know whether your iPhone does support it or not. Well, it's actually very simple. If you have iOS 17 on your device, you can also install iOS 18 beta. All the same devices will be supported. So the oldest devices that do support the iOS 18 public beta and dev beta, of course, will be the iPhone SE second generation, then the iPhone 10R, 10S, 10S Max, of course, and the iPhone 11 series, of course, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. Those are the oldest devices, and of course, the all the newer devices will also support the new iOS 18. Now, before you install a beta on your iPhone, especially if you only have one device and that's your daily driver, you need to make sure that you know and accept a few things. First of all, that the battery won't be the best ever. Even though, in my opinion, this iOS 18 update has actually been the best that I have got in the last few years when it comes to battery life. Like right here, you can see the battery life that I got in the last few days. So this is for today, as you can see right there with 75% battery, we got right here, six hours, 38 minutes. Then right here with about 95% battery, got five hours, 30 minutes. And then right here with 75% battery, four hours, 56 minutes. And right here with about 130% battery, 12 hours, 45 minutes. It's not the worst ever, but of course, it's not the best that you can, your iPhone can do. And it should be improved with the next betas. Just keep in mind, always when you install a beta, that there will actually be a ton of bugs and also the battery life won't be the best ever. Now with this particular update, with this public beta that you will be installing today, if you tr want to install it, don't expect to be very buggy because a couple of first betas of iOS 18 had actually had a lot of bugs, not in like major ones, but some that will actually just 
maybe just first trade you during the day but this beta the last one that has been released which of course is now followed up by this public beta we're talking about the third beta beta of ios 18 and the public beta it actually has been a lot better a lot more stable a lot smoother and a lot of annoying bugs have actually been fixed right now so now that you know all these things how do you update your device to the public beta of iOS 18? Well, actually, Apple has made updating to beta very simple. The only thing you will need to do is head on to Safari on your device and go to this website, beta.apple.com. Once you're here, all you have to do is tap on sign up. Once you tap here, you need to log in with your Apple ID. And once you have done that, all you have to do is just scroll down here where it says get started. You will see something called here, enroll your device. You tap right there and you will see right here like a few different suggestions. And then you tap on open beta updates. This will take you to your settings. Then from here, all you have to do is just go ahead and select the first public beta of iOS 18. You go to software update. And right here, we tap on beta updates. You simply select iOS 18 public beta and you're good to go. You go back here, just swipe here to refresh and you will get the first iOS 18 public beta. It's actually very, very simple to install a beta nowadays on your device. But another thing that you have to know is that if you actually decide to update the first public beta or even if you have updated to a dev beta of ios 18 downgrading is actually way more complicated than updating and a lot of times you might have a few problems that might cause you to maybe lose your data or have problems with your device that's why i suggest if you do actually decide to update to a beta make sure that you know what you're doing make sure that you're sure that you want to do that and of course keep in mind all the different problems that you might have because once you install it it's actually way harder to go back so what's next when it comes to ios 18 betas well i would expect apple to actually release next week the next beta so on the 22nd i expect apple to release the fourth dev beta of ios 18 and hopefully this will be the time when we get like the first AI features that Apple has talked about on iOS 18. Now, once they release that beta, I would expect it the next day to actually release the second public beta of iOS 18. So that would be the 23rd of July. And from now on, I would actually expect Apple to go ahead and just switch to a weekly schedule where they do release a new beta every week. That might happen after beta 4 and public beta 2 so from now on then you can expect apple to release a new beta every week until the release of ios 18 to the public which i do expect to happen somewhere around here most likely somewhere around the 16th or 17th of september towards the middle of september that's the time when i do expect apple to actually release this quite big update to the public so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video Hopefully you're enjoying iOS 18 if you have installed it on your device. If not, take a look at this video, know all the things you need to know, and then decide whether you want to update or not. So that's it, and I'll see you on the next one.